Listen. That's a directive. That's yes. a suggestion. Uh, in page, on page 108 of the revised expanded edition of the textbook for victims of white supremacy. Use words as scientific weapons. That's a suggestion that I made as a remedy to happen to remedy uh, the disease of white supremacy. Use words as scientific weapons because that's what they do. Study and use words, the definition of words, and or the production of words in such a manner as to cause the white supremacists to decide to do one of two things. In other words, this should be for victims of white supremacy, your uh, intermediate goal toward the production of universal man and universal woman. And there's two things that you set as a goal when you start out in resisting white supremacy and trying to eliminate it and replace it with justice. And that is, number one, replace white supremacy with justice between people or kill all of the non-white people of the known universe. Now, that's what you are trying to force the white supremacists to do. Why? Because whatever you do to oppose them, if they're not going along with it, that's what they're going to do anyway. They're going to kill all the non-white people of the known universe. You want to put them in that position where they have to make that decision. Either replace the system of racism with justice. That's one thing they can do, because that's what you're trying to force them to do or persuade them to do. And the other thing, if they can't do that or don't want to do it, you force them or persuade them to actually kill all of us, the non-white people of the known universe. And it's logical because if you're opposing something that doesn't want to be moved, you leave them with no other option. That's what you want to do. Leave them with no other options. Try to narrow down the number of options that they have when you try to persuade and or force the white supremacists of this universe to stop being white supremacists. Mm -hmm. You're there. So if you're going to replace the system of white supremacy, that's number one. The logical thing that you would replace it with is a system of justice, because the system of white supremacy is a system of non-justice. Correct. It guarantees it. Now, if they don't want to do justice, then that leaves them with one other option. Which is? To kill all of the non-white people of the planet. And here's Here's why you forced them to do this, or rather, this is the suggestion that I'm making. Suppose they say, well, we're not going to do justice, so that leaves us one other, one other option, because we're sick of you black people. We're just sick of you. We're sick of you. I mean, you're not going to do what we say, so, hey, make the rubber meet the road. I mean, now, either you fall in line and keep doing what we say do, which is be subordinate to an unjust system, or I'm going to kill all of you. So how do you respond to that type of ultimatum? You say, okay, go ahead and do it. You said you're going to do it, do it. You got the muscle to do it. Like in The Godfather, mm -hmm. Frank D'Angelo was talking to Michael Corleone and said, hey, hit us while you got the muscle. Because you do have the muscle. You can kill all of the black people on this planet. You can actually kill them all. The white supremacists can do that. And all we can do is just try to run and hide and fight the best way we can, run all over the place like chickens with no heads because we wouldn't know where to go to escape it. There's no certain place. There's no you know, designated place where we can flee to. That's clear of anybody who has you know, thought about it and given it serious thought. If you have white supremacy, they can go any place not only on this planet, but maybe on other planets. So on this planet called Earth, if the white supremacists decide 
that they are going to slaughter, have a mass slaughter, set a date, actually announce it, say that, hey, find a place to run and hide, and to make it sporting, because the white supremacists love to make killing a sport. That's why they write all these murder mysteries and whatnot. That's why they entice black people to make movies about killing, okay? I mean, kill, 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 kill is a sport. Killing people is a sport in the system of white supremacy. It's a form, a great form of entertainment, a massive form of entertainment. So they're just saying, we, let's make this entertaining, all right? You black people love entertainment. Well, we can entertain you with a lot of killing, like we have been doing, and you can get a lot of entertainment yourself by dying from our killing. But we're going to make a sport out of it by saying, say this is January, uh, give you a year to find a place to hide and to get your guns ready and everything. We'll make a sport out of it, you know. And then we'll say, okay, you ready? Okay, because this is January the 1st of the next year. This is kickoff time, so we're coming after you. And we're going to kill you wherever we find you. Babies, everybody. Everybody black, you're going. The wagon is coming today, January the 1st of this particular year that they designate. And everybody agrees on. They're coming after you. Fight the best way you can. Run the best way you can. Hide the best way you can. But we are, when we find you, are going to kill you, and it ain't nobody coming to your rescue because nobody got that kind of muscle. Now, this is exactly what black people are supposed to be trying to force the white supremacists of this planet to do or do justice. Number one is to do justice. That's what we really want, should want. That's what I want. Yes. But they may decide, no, we're not doing justice under no circumstance. <laughs> we're not going to give you... No, no, we're not doing justice. We're not in the business of doing justice. So we got another option. If you're not going to fall in line with what we've been doing all the time, we're going to kill you all. So I say, do it. And there are a lot of black people who say, well, don't, man, don't invite that. You know, it's, it's not an invitation. It's what they're going to have to do anyway. I don't care how you approach it. If they're not going to do justice, otherwise we have to put up with justice into inf injustice, non-justice, into infinity. Now, some people have said they've seen some cartoons of my work uh, on the Internet that have been presented. And that uh, it, it pretty well embellishes what I have been trying to say in my textbooks. And uh, to the extent that it does that, well, that has been, from what I understand, some people reported to me a plus, because they didn't understand what I had written very well, but when they saw those cartoons that just repeated what I was saying and attaching my name to it and uh, came right out of the book, the material did, uh, they say that they better understood it. And I can understand that because people are kind of visual, particularly in the year 2021 now, uh, more visual than ever.